Alice Aching says she was raped at 13. Then she married as a teenager and was beaten by her husband almost daily. She says no one would help and he wouldn't change, so she left. The mother of three says she understands why so many suffer in silence. I was also where these many women are. I had that fear. I also felt like if I came out and admitted that I was raped, people would laugh at me or they would say I am lying. So most people are afraid of that. UN figures show about 39% of women in Kenya report experiencing some form of violence at the hands of sexual intimate partners. Now Alice and other survivors in the slums of Kibera are taking action against gender-based violence. After working for two years to highlight the problem, the group launched the first center in Kibera for victims of abuse with the help of donations. The site includes a safe house and resource facility for women and girls. Editor Adiambo, a rape survivor from Kibera, is the director. Apart from a safe house, our office will act as a safe center where women can come and share their stories, where women can come and get our service. Our main service today that we are having is education empowerment. We want to empower women on their rights. If you understand your right today and you practice tomorrow your rights, then you are liberated. Wangeshi Washira is the director of the Center for Rights Education and Awareness. She says gender-based violence is prevalent in Kenya's informal settlements. As an organization, we have our Kibera office here in Nairobi. Um, this year alone, 2018, we have 651 cases reported cases of gender-based violence and this is only for one organization. Um, the last just concluded uh, national exams. We've seen um, a very um, big numbers of girls who were violated. Uh, with one county where we're working, for example, in Kilifi, we had 13,000 girls uh, who were who have, who have been violated in, in teenage pregnancy. And, and that is only one county. She says intimate partner violence makes victims more vulnerable to HIV infection and other serious problems. We have seen um, the magnitude of violence happening to women being more. Um, and we can describe it in terms of uh, sexual violence. We can also be able to uh, define it in terms of um, um, emotional violence. Um, there is also a component of uh, economic violence. Survivors say they hope the center sends a clear message about the true cost of gender-based violence to victims and society. Raya Lombor, for VOA News, Nairobi.